Hi everyone, Berno here. This week is my turn to uh, share my thoughts with you. And um, if you're wondering about all this fancy setup going on here, I'm shooting for the wave. So hence all the lights and uh, I enjoy this, this is fun. <laughs> but um, this week I've, I've been really been inspired by Nick and I think a lot of has, us have uh, with him sharing just how certain verses really spoke to him at certain times in his life. And Nick sharing those really deep and personal things really and how God helped him and how yeah especially God's word really came to life to him and so I thought oh this is great it really helps us to get to know each other and so this week I'm doing the same and David did it last week as well and uh, it's great that you know, it's a way for us to share a bit about our lives and how God has really been working in our lives and how we've how we've developed really as people so yeah this is uh this is what I'm going to be doing this week so I've, I've a bit of background, really. I grew up in South Africa, and the um, culture there is very Christian, particularly white Afrikaans culture, very Christian. Everyone goes to church on a Sunday. So I grew up knowing the Bible, and I grew up, um, yeah, just in this uh, Christian environment. But um, it really, I, it didn't come to life for me until I came to England, and that was about 14 years ago. Oh, I have to do the math. 2006, it happened in 2000, no, 2007, 2006 I came to England, 2007, that's when God's word really opened up to me. And so uh, I remember, you know, Facebook came out 2007 as well, and I, as I started this new journey as a Christian, I signed up to a, a daily Bible uh, verse group or something on Facebook, and um, I remember one day, there was this one verse. Now, I didn't always pay much attention to it, but uh, one day there was this verse uh, in 2 Corinthians 5, verse 14 and 15, and uh, it says, For Christ's love compels us, because we are convinced that one died for all, and therefore all died. And he died for all, that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised again. And so when I was in this place of newness in my faith, a new discovery really of what it means to be Christian and dedicating my life to God, I had to, I was going through a real lifestyle change, real lifestyle change. And so when I read this, for Christ's love compels us, someone, there's someone on this Facebook group um, actually expanded what the word compels mean. And so they really, yeah, that really helped me to see how, because of my faith, because of this new discovery, because of Christ's love and understanding that and having experienced that and realized it, I was just compelled wanting to change my life. I was like, yeah, I really resonate with this. Like, this is so good. Like, yeah, I can see how, you know, I want to change my life because of, because of what Christ has done for us, how he's died for me. Uh, and so I'm dying to that old self of myself. And it's fo the, fo the focus really of my life completely changed before I was looking at very much a friend I was living in a friend of mine's shadow and wanted to be like him uh, and so I wasn't necessarily selfish um, but I was looking at the wrong example and so suddenly uh, I, I kind of died to that and I said I don't want to look at this person anymore I want to look at Christ and that's where it really came to life for me in my faith. And so every time I look at this verse again, I'm reminded of that time and how, and we have to, don't we? We have to remind ourselves because sometimes we did get caught up in the things we want and the desires we have. And, and we have to sometimes realize I need to sacrifice those things in order to follow Christ. And uh, it's, that's, yeah, definitely almost a daily reminder that we need. And so that is one of the verses for really, yeah, it still speaks to me now. Now let's pray. Mm. Lord, I thank you so much that when we go through these experiences in life and you know, that time when uh, I was just so new in learning about you and understanding Jesus, what you've done for me and how you, know, you giving up your life for me, I wanted to give my life back to you in return. I thank you so much. And now how many years, ever years later on, Sometimes that can be a challenge because I've got my, my own desires and things that I want. 
Um, but I thank you, Lord, that you bring me back to this verse again and this passage. I thank you that you've put that in my life so early on. And yeah, I pray that you'll help us give up ourselves, give up our lives uh, and die to our, well, uh, yeah, die to our selfish nature sometimes so that we can live for you and give our lives up to you, Jesus. Amen. See you tomorrow in the next video.